You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Well, prevailing wisdom coming in was that Curtis Blades would go for the takedown early and often, but as his striking has developed over several years now on this UFC roster, he is able to present a lot of different looks to the opposition. So let's see if Blades will go to the wrestling realm tonight or maybe strike a little bit more than we've seen in fights past. And blocks the shot there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Blades. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. There, he is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Blades is cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Two minutes now to go in round one. Nice kick to the body. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and bunches? Punches and bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back to his feet. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big All right, he's got the striking going. Another connection there, and that shot actually cut him. So yeah, you can tell. He turned it. He's gonna try to take it down. There you go. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times... You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Blades is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Big takedown. Get him out here. Changing the position. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Big, big shots landed by him now. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook. Oh, this 
one could be over soon. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to... Oh. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we can. They're going at it here. Two shots landing on both sides. And back to his feet. 90 seconds now to go in the round. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit hurt again. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is big. That's big. Oh, a big left hand. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and now Leather being thrown on both sides. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is real. Oh! Bodies hit the floor. <laughs> what a round. Multiple knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. There was one guy's body hit the floor over and over and over again. So he showed tremendous toughness. But for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice. He puts Sean Shelby on notice. He puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know... Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Continuing to work the body here. Side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Shot a double leg. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, and he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but... He's hurt bad. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice kick. He's breathing pretty heavy. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt. Damage on him. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh. Oh. He needs to fight down. Oh, 
Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh! Reverses the position there. Nice transition by Curtis Blades. Now a kick to the body. Oh, Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Curtis Racer!